In this JavaScript sample, I show you how to work with variables. You can see that I'm working in Optana Studio and that I can go back and forth between my code and my test page. I love working in Optana. It makes it very easy to test everything and it will point out a lot of errors. So just a quick review, doc type, HTML, title, I'm linking to my basic CSS. In the body, I have writing to the HTML page. And you'll notice I've put a script type JavaScript in the body segment. You can do this. Often JavaScript is in the header. It is allowed in the body. Wherever you put it is where the content is going to start. So when I look at the page, writing to the HTML page is an H1 tag that's actually done in HTML. And it appears up here. But the rest of the text, the rest of the content on my page is all inside of my JavaScript. I will put a link to this page inside the class so you can go and read the code and you'll notice that I heavily, heavily con comment all of my code so you can see what each piece is doing. I'm using a HTML comment opening and closing to hide the script from any browser that doesn't recognize JavaScript. And you'll notice that you can't actually write script inside of the body. I've got, I'm documenting this the whole way through here. I'm using the write text method here to do a document write, and this will appear in the body of my text page. And those two lines are right here. This text will appear in the body of my HTML page. Next, we will work with variables. I want you to notice a couple things about those lines. This text will appear in the body of my HTML page as an H3, which makes it bold. If I get rid of the paragraph tags inside here, you'll notice that it still works just fine. But if I don't close this one, and I put it in here instead, Notice it becomes one solid line. In the book, it shows you that you could use the right line variant on the method for the document object. But I'm finding that that does not work to start a new line, so I'm not going to use it. So instead, of using right line, I will simply use document write, and I will include my HTML formatting inside of any text I'm using to control page breaks, etc., right from inside or right with using the HTML commands. The next thing that I do is I declare several variables. I declare an integer, my integer is 1, my float 1.2, my care a, my string string. Now notice all of them have a VAR declaration. In other programming languages like C++, you would actually have declared them as an int, my integer, float, my float, care, my care, string, which is a different animal, depends on the language that you're working in. But here, they're all the same type. That is a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it makes it very easy to code for new programmers. It's a bad thing because you might try and add 1.2 to string, and it's not going to work out so well for you. We'll get into that into the future. Now I'm using my document.write with a paragraph, and you'll notice that I'm putting in break statements, and I'm also including strong to make the VAR stand out. Let's take a look at that. My declaration of variables doesn't put anything in here, but here's my paragraph. And you can see my page breaks are right where I put them, and the strong makes that bold. You might be tempted to concatenate or join strings together directly in the document.write. It doesn't work. I did the document.write, and you guys can go and copy this from the web page and try it yourself so you can remove the comments. But I'm going to put it in, I'm going to remove the comment here, and you'll notice that I've blocked out this entire area with a block comment. I wanted to make it easy 
to remove the comments and make it live code. So now it's live code. Watch what happens when I save and test the page. The whole thing doesn't work because the script's broken. And so I commonly will use block comments to help me test to find broken areas in the code. So you can see that when I comment out that bad portion of the code, it works just fine. The proper way to use a concatenated string is to create a variable, which I've declared here. I'm declaring it variable. The name of the variable is combined string. And then I just concatenated. I added these variables here, my integer, my float, my string. I've declared them all in here. And I'm using my HTML in here. And then I just use document.write combined string, which is the name of that variable. And you'll notice the whole paragraph works well. Again, the HTML code embedded in there works just fine to put in breaks in the paragraphs and to bold letters. So play with this, download it, or try and recreate it if you'd like. And you can see that we can actually create HTML com um, content right from JavaScript. And this just gives us a basis to start working with some of the next things that we're going to work with because now we have a way to write the results to the page and just test some basic concepts of JavaScript before we move into making JavaScript ap applications.